Food we eat. As air and water, food is also very essential for the living beings. There are no varieties in air and water used by living things. But there are a number of varieties of food we eat. Each of them are taken in different forms and they contain different nutrients in them. First let us know about the raw food. Raw food fruits. Most of the food we eat is cooked. But fruits and some vegetables can be eaten raw. For example, vegetables like carrot, radish, cucumber, tomato, onion, etc. can be eaten raw. Fruits Fruits like mango, guava, custard apple, banana, etc. Dry fruits and oily seeds can also be eaten raw. Care to be taken while eating raw foods. They should be washed with clean water or salt water. Otherwise, germs will enter our body with the food and cause diseases. We should eat fruit in fresh conditions only. Look at the table for nutrients present in raw foods. Yellow colored fruits, tubers, mango, papaya, carrot, jack, pumpkin etc. contain vitamin A. For the healthy eyes and skin. Amla, citrus fruits, orange, guava, tomato etc. have vitamin C for healthy skin and gums. Dried fruits, dates, dried grapes and jaggery etc. have iron to keep the blood red. Leafy vegetables, seeds like ragi, green gram, bengal gram etc. contain Calcium for strong bones and teeth. Cooking of food. Cooking improves the taste and flavor of food. It makes the food soft and easily digestible. It also kills harmful germs contained in some foods. The food we eat is cooked in different methods. They are boiling, steaming, frying, baking and roasting. Now let us know in detail. Boiling, rice, dals, vegetables are cooked by this method by adding sufficient quantity of water. Steaming, the steam that comes from boiling water is used for cooking. For example, idlis are cooked by this method. Frying, cooking in heated oil or ghee is called frying. For example, puris, samosa, etc. Baking. The process of cooking by hot air is called baking. For example, biscuits, cakes, bread are made by this process. Roasting. Some foods are roasted directly on fire or hot containers. For example, maize cobs, Bengal gram seeds, puppets are roasted. Foods should not be overcooked because overcooking will destroy the vitamins in the food. After cooking, it should be preserved and protected in the proper way from insects and flies. So, let us know food protection from insects and flies. The foods we eat become infected if they are kept exposed to dust and flies. Diseases like cholera, typhoid, diarrhea will spread by eating contaminated food. Bacteria and molds grow on cooked foods kept for a long time. Different preserving methods are used to preserve different types of foods. Now let us have a look at them. Foods like rice, pulses, seeds, nuts may be preserved in airtight containers. Foods like meat, eggs, fish, milk, vegetables and fruits can stay longer and remain fresh at low temperatures. So, we can keep them in refrigerators or janitor fridge. Janitor fridge can be made by ourselves in home. Fruits and vegetables can be preserved fresh for some days by covering them with wet cloth 
or keeping in polythene covers with holes. Fruits can be preserved in the form of jams and jellies. Population and shortage of food. Living things cannot survive without food. As the population increases, shortage of food occurs. The population of our country will be under control it. Every family is a small family. Small family. A family with one or two children is called a small family. Children can be looked after well. They can be given nutritious food. Big family. A family with three or four children is called a big family. Here, children cannot get nutritious food. In our country, every year 1.36 crores of new population is added to the existing one. Thus, shortage of